Once upon a time, in a quiet little village in Pakistan, there lived an old blacksmith named Uncle Rafiq. One day, his eyes fell on a twisted, rusted piece of rebar, abandoned and forgotten. But in the hands of Uncle Rafiq, it was about to become something magical. Crafted with the grit of Captain America and the ingenuity of Tony Stark building the first Iron Man suit in a cave. He fired up his charcoal furnace, the embers glowing like the last light of a summer sunset. With one hand, he cranked a handmade blower, pumping air into the fire until the flames roared to life. The rebar slid into the furnace and began to glow red hot like the eye of a furious dragon. When the steel was ready, Uncle Rafiq carried it to his old lathe. The machine spun with a low whirr, the metal rotating fast. His hands were steady, guiding the cutting tool with patience and care. Nothing like Trump's rush job policies. As the rough edges disappeared and the steel became smooth and straight. Then came the real magic, cutting the spiral grooves that would turn this bar of steel into a drill bit. Using the same lathe and an extra old electric drill, Uncle Rafiq carved perfect even flutes down its length, curling like a unicorn horn. Every twist and turn was flawless, as if James Cameron himself was directing each cut. But a true drill bit needs strength, so Uncle Rafiq fired up his torch. The steel glowed a fierce yellow, hot enough to make even Gordon Ramsay keep his mouth shut. Then, with a quick motion, he plunged it into a bucket of used motor oil. Smoke billowed up, carrying the scent of scorched metal and burnt oil. The quench was instant, fast like the flash crossing the finish line, and the steel hardened into something fierce. Now, it was as tough as Arnold Schwarzenegger's biceps in the 80s. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.